Hi guys, it's Stacy. I'm back with another journal to share with you. This is a sweet little journal that um, I finished. Um, it's one of a collection of quite a few of them that are coming, but this one was the smallest one out of the bunch, so I thought that I would share it with you right away. So I called this a dream journal mostly because uh, I did add a charm here that says dream, but um, the size of it is uh, five and a half by six, so it's almost a square journal. But I just thought it was a cute little size to kind of have that sort of, you know, place to put poems, memories, um, dreams, just sort of a keepsake. But it's very, very chunky. <laughs> so it has lots of writing space in it. And I did the hidden binding on it so the charm can come off. So yeah, it's got, uh, and it's very squishy and made with lots of fabrics. I put lots of fabrics and stuff here. So I was inspired by April at Pink Oddbird because she did some journals where she pieced together the sari silks and fabric and did these little um, sequin accents here. So I thought that I'd give it a go. And she had done um, in her space collection a boho um, moon. So I've done the, um, the boho effect here, um, but with a star. So and uh, so anyway, here is the tassel that I've done here and it's got lots of different fabrics. Sari silk ribbon, some silver rickrack, and you'll find some beads in here. There's like iridescent beads, little glass beads, and I do believe there's, yep, there's even a little star, little charms, little beads there. There's a little glass bead here. It just kind of matches all the the spine uh, fabrics that I used. So when it's um, it's, a, it's not a heavy hardcover at all, it's soft. It's kind of just two card stocks quilted together. And uh, here's the back. Um, I was inspired by a tutorial I saw Lori Weber do quite a while ago. Um, and that's kind of what I did with the style of journal. So we'll jump right in here so you can see so there's pocket in the front and the back um, with the same with this fabric here and it's kind of it's got a shine to it galaxy and um, so yeah I've done uh, a pocket here and it's like that quilted look there I've added lots of like old flashcards of space and constellations and these are all book pages um, clippings ephemera and these are some bits cut out from scrapbook pads that I have so all of the ephemera is pretty much um, removable and you can do whatever you like with it. Here's one of my star shakers filled with lots of little stars and sequins here and it's attached here by a brad. You can just lift that off and take it off. So we have like fabric trims and this is um, the ink stained paper that I do with my Dilutions ink. And the pages, the paper I used was a 32 pound paper so it's it's not a crink it's not crinkly but it's very smooth to write on and you can actually write with marker and it won't really it won't seep through at all. And uh, yeah, so it's got I don't know if you can see but you'll you'll find like some shimmer and everything on these papers as well. I have a lot of fun um, with my inks when I do them and I haven't been able to um, get at doing them but doing some more and it's really hard to duplicate when you get some uh, effect. You just get lucky sometimes. There's some more book pages and some ephemera cards. So this is another batch I did that looked looks you know quite a bit different. So I've put in for the lots of the writing space I've done like pink and blue grid, and just for different variation of writing. Um, these are old book pages, and there's the Big Dipper. Lots of old book pages uh, that I've used for pockets. This is from astronomy books. And then this is an um, ink effect that I did over paper towel and it showed all the circles in the paper towel. And then I've done some washi tape, some more book pages. Like I said, everything is clipped in. Anything that kind of looked like the night sky or, you know, bedtime. Um, just something with the moon and the stars. Little And I just did little fabric trim tabs and stuff just because the book's so small. I just like it to look petite and fun more um washi tape and here's another the effect on here is really cool too that's more washi 
And uh, yeah, so and here is uh, one of Lori Weber's. Uh, I used a few pages from her kit. It's pretty too. And this one here, I love this blue one and the way it turned out. Um, I had cut that off in, from to another project, so I was able to use some of it in here. Here's uh, some of the ink staining that I do on watercolor paper. And then this tag has um, Make-A-Wish. And I've stitched this star on. You can write on the back. And there is a little star charm there with some beads. Everything starts with the dream sticker. This one has some shimmer to it, some line paper. So that's why I did a lot of, you know, grid and some lined and stuff like that, just to keep it more of like a diary. But the pages is, are, are smaller and it's not so intimidating if you want to, um, you know, do some collaging. Um, this page is from Calico Collage Kit. It's called Among the Stars. And then these are old book pages as well. I just love how they work. And I did uh, do some more washi tape there. This is that um, Tim Holtz thing um, die cut that you can make with, I just added like stickers in here. Love the ink staining here. This is one of a sticker. I've, I put this one down. It, it's the um, one of the verses of Twinkle, Twinkle Little Star. These are old book pages too. That's cool. Um, yeah, and then these ones I cut from a scrapbook pad. These old constellation books are, or astronomy books are from the seven, 60s and 70s, I believe. And this is some scrapbook paper here. I've done some stenciling. There's some uh, old books, space books. So look up and get lost. And then these are just some old book of page ephemera. Here's another one of uh, the pages from Lori's kit. Love how the colors, this one has some shimmer to it too. And this is just, uh, I use my scraps and then used leftover coffee stain paper. Across the sea of space, the stars are other suns. Just make little notepads. These are some book page ephemera. Another little pocket here. Um, this one I just die cut the star out and then backed it with some of the um, ink stain paper behind it. Just to give it that effect. Here's some constellation old book pages bits there. This pa scrapbook paper has like a glitter effect to it. This is a sticker. I believe that's a calico collage sticker from the calico collage kit. Um, here's another pocket here. Lots of places to tuck little goodies. This is just a little fold out. It says be a dreamer. And this effect here was, I had used some of this, this was left over from when I did the Little Mermaid journal. I wanted it to look like coral and it still works in this book. I could never, like I said, I can't duplicate what happens each batch of my ink staining because some of them just turn out so different. Here's a little star paper clip, and just a little tag there I made. And this one is a tag with a stamped star on there. And then just some little bits in here vintage pages and some tags I cut out and there's little things in there from some of the scrapbook paper pads. There's Saturn. And I love how they get circles. This is from the bubbles. I, I don't, I can't really explain how I get the bubble effect in my papers. I'd probably have to try and show you guys sometime. There's a lot of shimmer on this side. This is just a nice pocket. There's another little paper clip beaded charm there. And there's a pocket here. There's another one of uh, Lori's kits. And there's some ephemera quotes there. 
some more quotes. Dream wild dreams. And then I used uh, the watercolor paper and the inks. I made a little tag here, and this one you can see through the little stars and moons and sequence I put in there. You can still write on the back. These are from these, uh, I get these big colored transparent um, envelopes at the dollar store, and I use them for pockets. Here's the other side of this one, and I just stitch it. This one has a little shaker there of some stars and moons. And this is some more watercolor paper with the inks on it. You get a really good effect using the watercolor paper with the inks because it, um, it's actually more vibrant. Another little notepad. Love the color here with the, the turquoise. It really matched the paper as well. Same with these colors too. And here's another little pocket here. Little fabric trims, some more stenciling. There's a lot of paper in here. I don't know how many signatures. I think there's nine signatures. There's some other little stickers and little bits to use. I like this one here, this little piece from a, an old story book. There's the moon. This one is a digital. I've just put some more washi on there. Another stamped tag. So this is just a little envelope I made with some extra paper that I had left over in my scraps. Another little sticker pouch there. And this is written in the stars. And then just a journal card, dream and flowers. And this is all stitched pocket here. And the um, hidden binding all stitched behind there. So yeah, it's uh, a cute little journal. It'll be hard to part with if somebody's interested in it. It is linked um, below in the description box where you can find my shop. And I do have more of this style coming. I just haven't really been feeling much like doing too many videos, but this is one of many of them. And this was the smaller size and the next ones I'll do will be a little bit bigger and bigger. And I do have some big ones to show you eventually when I get around to just finishing them up. But for now, guys, take care and I will see you again.